Saint Anton, Austria. That's a name that every winter sport enthusiast associates with the unique winter experience and adventures. The ultimate in off-piste, Saint Anton, Austria's flagship resort ranks among the very best ski resorts in the world. Better suited to intermediate or advanced skiers rather than beginners, the resort is known for its legendary off-piste and even more legendary oppressed ski scenes. Hey guys, and welcome to Dream Destinations. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. In today's video, you'll get to see all that St. Anton Malberg Ski Resort has to offer. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. St. Anton Ski Resort is located in a valley on the outskirts of Innsbruck. It is a village that is known for its natural beauty. The town is located at an elevation of 1,750 meters and has a population of just over 3,000 people. St. Anton of Malberg attracts tourists all year round with many tourists coming to ski in the winter and hike in the summer. If you're looking for an idyllic place to visit or move to, this might just be the right place. With more than 300 kilometers of marked downhill slopes, 87 lifts and cable cars, 200 off-piste options and Austria's largest connection ski area. St. Anton of Malberg is the heart of alpine skiing. It is known for its excellent snow conditions and provides a range of skiing opportunities. St. Anton is captivatingly beautiful and fun at any time of year, but when the ski season opening party is on, there's nowhere more magical. The place will be celebrating the arrival of winter in true St. Anton style. The St. Anton Ski Open is one of the highlights of the winter and brings visitors from all around the world. Not just for winter sports action, but also to enjoy the buzzing atmosphere that spreads from the mountain slopes to the lively village centre. Taking place from the 2nd of December through to the 4th, it is a three-day extravaganza of St. Anton's unique culture and community with great skiing and fun. St. Anton of Malberg is a small village with limited lodging options for visitors. You will find most of the hotels and guest houses near the train station, so you won't have to walk very far when you arrive. St. Anton is a busy, bustling resort with a character-filled main street. The traffic-free centre is the heart of the action and is where most people arrive to after a day on the slopes. Hence, there are some very lively bars, but not quite as wild as the Moserworth and the Crazy Kangaroo further up the hill. For a quieter stay, there is plenty of affordable accommodation further along the valley, which is connected by a frequent and very efficient bus service. The village has excellent hiking and skiing opportunities, and there are plenty of places where you can rent equipment for either activity. You can also take a bus to get to some of the best mountain trails in the region. The town also has truly unique attractions, like its outdoor ice ring and the Trobogannon Park. St. Anton of Malberg is loved by more people than just downhill and snowboard skiers. Hikers can also explore 80 kilometers of designated trails. There are numerous indoor sports, including tennis, handball, volleyball, as well as climbing and bouldering walls are available at the ultra-modern multi-purpose sports facility. After a wonderful day outdoor in the clean mountain air, relaxing at the Alberg Welcome and Wellness Park Alberg Stanzerntal is the ideal choice. This is not an ideal resort for beginners. That being said, the lower village slopes by Nazarene are gentle and offer a decent area for first timers. St. Anton is not the best option for fresh intermediates, nor for hesitant ones. More brave and adventurous intermediates have miles of great on piste trails and snow coverage mainly because of the excellent grooming and the artificial snow machines. As already mentioned, St. Anton is just great for experienced and ambitious intermediate skiers. True enough, experts have limited options on the on-piste black runs, but they have seemingly endless miles of expert terrain off-piste. The 200 kilometers of marked ski routes are avalanche controlled, but they are not prepared. So head straight to these when they are open on powder days. There are some epic runs off Veluga and down towards Zurs, but they should be completed with a guide. The best way to see what the area has to offer is by utilizing the ski instructor. St. Anton's major problem, as you have already guessed, is the popularity. Almost until March, the pistas are crowded with skiers, therefore parking is equally problematic inside the town. If you are planning to visit the place for just one day, opt for the big car park that's on the outskirts of the resort. St. Anton is the ultimate destination for skiers that love wild parties, vibrant bars and good restaurants. St. Anton indeed has the lion's share of exquisite restaurants, elegant cafes and lively bars and wild clubs. With the adrenaline still flowing, it's time to dance on the tabletops, still in ski boots of course, at the Moserbert bar on the slopes. Several hours later, you'll finally crawl into bed, ready to repeat the whole thing a few hours later. I really hope you enjoyed this video about skiing in St. Anton. Let me know in the comments if you're planning to go here. Thanks for watching and until next time.